All right, I'm finishing up the 1997 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme SL brake job. And this is the tool you gotta use. Right there, you need one of those. Cause you can't just, you know on a lot of vehicles you can just use something like this and, and pull, pry that over. And then you can put the new pads in. On this you can't. You have to screw the piston cup would be the correct term back in with that tool there. So this is what my pads look like when they're all finished. I use brake caliper paint although it's a very close match to the car. I could have used paint that matches the car. But I used brake caliper paint on it to give it a nice look and keep things from rusting. And while I was at it, I thought, well, might as well get the hmm, there we go. Get the uh, back parts of the looking nice there too like that so now when you see the vehicle from behind you'll see that that's all painted nice you know and it'll make it last longer there's some springs and things in that area all oh, your brakes but so then that'll last longer prevent rust that way you see I have it held up there with jack stands and um, I use that jack right there it was I think this is an 11 11 and your uh, bleed valve is a 10 and then you got to undo this piece has to come loose and come off you use a 14 on that nut back there 14 there and these are 19 or 3 quarter I always like to know the wrench sizes when I'm doing when I'm looking up stuff on other people's videos So it turned out looking really good. And then put the new pads on. The new pads are from Centric. You just put the old parts back in there. Posi Quiet Premium Disc Brake Pads. So they're ceramic. Yeah. So. And I put the new anti rattle clips. You know, that's these here in there. That's your anti rattle clip. Just something nice, you know, for give it a quieter ride. When you hit the brakes, they don't make so much noise. I like it really quiet. That's why I chose ceramic. So all I gotta do now is put the new American Racing wheels back on and the center caps there. So now I'll go ahead and finish this up and set the car down. Probably not going to test drive today. Besides, I already stepped on the brakes and they are good. You do have to bleed the brakes when you do this. But I did just bleed the back ones. But I just went through the fronts and bled the front ones also recently. So I'm not concerned about that. I got a nice little charger on here. So I can use the vehicle power while I'm working. You can listen to the radio, whatever you want to do there. It makes it just nice. So as you can see, this is something you could easily do in your garage at home. So you can do a good job and you can save a lot of money or taking it downtown. So this is John Rudy with Rudy Racing signing off.